In agriculture, everything is connected. Everything is based on healthy relationships. If we want to build healthy soil, it's really in a lot of ways the foundation for our cultures, our health, our communities, our families, our children is really is deeply connected to how healthy our soil is. The way we grow food is hugely important in terms of how we stabilize the planet and its climate because we as a human species are using right now 70% of the Earth's land mass for our own use, for growing, for living, uh, for doing all, all the kinds of things that we do. And so if we think about how we grow food and how are we doing it in a way that actually starts to absorb water into the soil, that builds up the soil, and ultimately starts to pull carbon down from the atmosphere, holds it in the soil. That is a substantial way for us to be able to actually start to stabilize the climate and the planet. Um, and so there are lots of different ways of regenerating ecosystems as well as growing food at the same time. And organic and regenerative agriculture is one of those ways. It's a really important way uh, that we can start to transition the food system from growing just single crops and starting to really destroying soil to building soil back. The land itself breathes. Right? This planet is alive and it is actually breathing if you look at it through the seasons. So that inhalation and exhalation has everything to do with how that land is hosting life. And that's how we grow food. We grow food by working with life on land. So when we look at organic and regenerative forms of agriculture, we're looking at building up the health of those soils as well as inviting in much more life and diversity of all different kinds, all different kingdoms of life are invited in to participate in growing food. And then when we invite those in to participate in growing food, then we invite that into our homes, we invite those that into our bodies, we invite that into our families.